Yep. Okay, we start with the long axis view of the Achilles tendon. We start at the insertion region on the calcaneal bone. And this is how I uh, hold my probe like this. So I always have contact with the, with the patient's skin. Um, when we look at the, um, I'm trying to find my cursor. Yeah. When we look at the, the most distal ends, the fibers, the collagen bundles, um, where you want to look at is the uh, anisotropy artifact. So sometimes this is a little bit hypoechoic, this part of the tendon, and then you can just do a trick with your probe. So if you can film this, um, if you want, here it's, it's actually not a big point, uh, anisotropy, but if you want to, uh, to leave that out, then you should make this kind of maneuver. All right, okay. We will uh, go to uh, more to the proximal region. So we see here the, the, the insertion region. Then we go to retrocalcaneal with a little bit of the unechoic uh, appearance of the, uh, of the bursa, the retrocalcaneal bursa. We have the Kager's fat bed over here. And we move to the mid portion region of the Achilles tendon. What we look at from the Achilles tendon is the, um, the parallel appearance of the paratenon. So the deep paratenon and the superficial paratenon has to be really parallel to each other. So that's important. Um, if I go a little bit more to the proximal region, then we find the tibia in the bottom. And now we see all the lines really clearly. So we have on top the subcutaneous layers. We have the Achilles tendon. We have the Kager's fat bed the flexor hallucis longus muscle, really big muscle, and here's the tibia bone, okay? So we go up, we go up, and see if we can follow the Achilles tendon more to the side of the soleus. So soleus will come underneath the Achilles tendon, and you see immediately that the Achilles tendon is, the thickness is way less here, because it's behaving more like an aponeurosis than a tendon over here because the soleus will come under it. This is still flexor hallucis longus. This is soleus and this is Achilles tendon. I will move the probe up. So I will move the transducer up. Here you see the nice um, aponeurosis inside the flexor hallucis longus muscle. So if I move his uh, big toe, then you can see it's, it's a nice, uh, clearly delined muscle. I go up, I go up. This is all soleus. The flexor hallucis is going to the bottom because the soleus will get thicker. We move up, we move up, get a little bit more to the medial part. And then we have the triangular appearance of the gastroc muscle, medial gastroc muscle. Try to always stay perpendicular to the skin. So if I go more to the medial side, this is not my position, no, this is my position. I always want to be perpendicular to the skin. Okay, we stop here, we go to the transverse uh, view, so the, the, the short axis view, and then we also look for the plantaris tendon. I think it's a more, more easier way to find the plantaris tendon from a uh, short axis first and then to the long axis.